everyone, it's Tess from Mike and Tess Play, and welcome back to Pokemon Shield! Last time, I defeated the Ice Gym, Mel and Melanie was the gym leader. She was cool, I liked her a lot. Um, I like when they don't just make everyone super skinny, makes me happy! Appreciation for the body types. Also, I defeated Mike, and this time, we're gonna do Route 9. Some of Route 9, not all of Route 9. Did you see last time we did Route 8? Let's see, we're making, our, we're making our way back. Look at that little loop. We're doing it now. That battle was brilliant. The gym leader was tough, but you had no trouble. Sir Chester really has some great restaurants. I got some things I want to talk to you about, so let's head to a restaurant to celebrate your win. The name of the restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. Fun. So now I have to go to a restaurant, which... What? Come on. Who are you? Oh, no fun. Sparkles. Look at the trees. I don't actually know where this restaurant is. I completely forget. I'm just gonna run around and find it. I think this is it. <laughs> hey, I was right. Got that gym badge, Tess? Nice one. Oh, hey. There you are. I've been trying to find out more about the Darkest Day and the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. <laughs> Wait, hold on. No way! What's this? Um, an absolutely fantastic poster! <laughs> Exactly! Bob, with his brilliant smile, must be part of the legend! Wait, what are you on about? Don't confuse me! Yeah, I had to because of your little your little explanation point above your head earlier. It was cute. The heroes look sad. And where are the sword and shield? And what is the meaning of this picture? Some kind of seal, the end of the legend. Let's do that one. Hmm, perhaps when their duty was completed, they went into some kind of sleep? How do you get that from this picture? I guess that they are. They do look like graves. Kind of. Based on those statues we saw back in Stoan's side, the Sword and Shield Pokemon were actually two Pokemon, right? That's right! That's my take on it, at least. You remember the Pokemon we met that day? Do you think it could have been one of them? Either the Sword or the Shield Pokemon? You met them? Come on! You know what I'm talking about, right, Tess? Uh, oh, he should be nice. He, he's really developed as a character. Yeah. <laughs> exactly! The, ma the mad Pokemon we ran into in the fog? Don't you think we could it could have been it? Oh, that's right! You lot have been in the slumbering wield. I only started on this journey because my grand told me to, but this is turning out to be too much fun. Y'all gotta tell me more. How about we discuss this over a meal? Go on. What do you want to eat? Let's get our order in. Imaginary food is delicious. Fascinating. All right. The next thing to do now is that we're done eating is to have a look around Sir Chester. Let's inspect the hero's bath. Wait a minute. I have things to do. Why do I have to follow you around? Isn't isn't learning more your job? <laughs> and then tell me later. <laughs> you would have think that they would have had like books written about this. Like they would have like recorded their history with the sword and shield Pokemon and stuff. The hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after battling to bring down that evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath, though. Hmm. Who exactly were the heroes that bathed here? I think I have to look into that. You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the slumbering wield? Perhaps you two can something I hit A by accident. What? What? Like some hero waving around a sword and a shield? Pull the other one. Though, I guess I'd fancy a sword if I had to take my pick. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Why don't we show her, Tess? Think we can pull off a he real heroic battle? 
Absolutely. Sonia treated us to a great meal. After that curry, I feel like I've got the energy to wrestle a beware. If you wrestle a beware, please call me. I want to watch. I don't entirely understand your reasoning, but I might just as well see what you can do. I'll heal up your Pokemon for you, Tess. So give it your best. Time for a little exhibition match starring the future champion. I know, I'm awesome, right? Hop, did you ever go get your other badge? I guess it's assumed that you did. He's got a double. It's fine. I've got I've got snips. Horrible name. Still. I'm counting on you, partner. And it's hailing. Let's do some R sphere. Oh, look at that. Look at that! Beautiful. Now that's a proper move. Your turn. I don't think you know your type matchups. No I'm kidding, I don't know my type type matchups either. Um I think Hop has a whole like he has a good mindset about about everything, but at the same time he's still very unsure. But he's overly confident, like that's where his character is going back to being. And I kinda miss the whole like sad and defeated and downtrodden and just trying to like pull something together but at the same time it's good to see him like up in spirits again let's do our sphere again because it seemed to work last time and look at the wings ah! he kind of looks like a bumblebee you know how like bumblebee's bodies are too fat and their wings are too small so they shouldn't be able to fly that's how i feel about uh, toga kiss <laughs> Is that weird? That might be weird. Like, look how little his teeny tiny feet are. I will switch my Pokemon. Okay. I love the way Gagora lands with like this giant thumb. Whoa. It looks like it has a butt on its face. Um, let's bulldoze it. Just run it over. Yeah! <laughs> that makes me so happy! Because I was really- don't know why I just thought the, like, the spikes on it would hurt me. But I guess like I didn't actually touch that Pokemon. Rillaboom! Um, switch. We'll bring out Kyo, even though Kyo always faints when I bring him out. But it's fine. Gotta see how my Kyo does against the Rillaboom anyway. You know, gotta keep winning against Mike. I really do need to spend some time, like, not grinding per se, but like making sure that like, like I definitely need a PP up for this move. Um, I definitely need to like level up my Pokemon some more. I haven't really been like, I usually grind my Pokemon because I do love to battle in the wild area. I love to battle all the trainers and stuff. And I really love when my Pokemon are, are really high leveled. Like, look at that. Look at all those level ups. That makes me happy. And I haven't really been doing that for the Let's Play. Because I don't really want to do a lot off screen. But I think that I might do just a little bit. Just some a little high, higher level. Let's look. I will switch it out for energy ball after giving it a little teeny bit of fat. Got Giga Drain. I do want to switch out some of my Pokemon now that we are towards the end of the game and you can get, um, Mm, I'll switch. You can get better Pokemon now. Gonna bring Snips back out. Come on, Snorlax. UV me. Oh, yeah. Super effective. I just brought him back out because I just, like, love the way you look. So I'm... No! No, where was the super effective my butt? This is why I like to be higher level. New no, Vito. Ah! 
Ah! Hell! Good. Hell. <laughs> no. This is what I like talking about. I like being at a slightly higher level so that when stuff like this does happen, I'm stronger. I like being stronger than my opponent. In most things. No. Tell I'm very opinionated! Oh, and we're about to faint. We're gonna get buff- Ah! Uh, yep, there it is. There it is. I'm so sad. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We just need a little bit of revenge. And a double kick. In the face. Just a little. We'll be fine. This hot battle is not going too poorly for me. Minus. Minus Matogakiss. But it's okay. Good bass and relax. I will train up and get better moves. And maybe some different Pokemon because I really haven't touched Kisa or Kana in a very long time. And I feel like I should switch them out for Pokemon I will use. I, again, I don't know who that would be. But we have more access to things. Like, our, you know, we have more... Um... More badges. We can catch higher level Pokemon. You think you've got me cornered? Not even close. I like that attitude, Hop. You're so nervous you could eat berries. We also, also should camp again. Oh no. No, scary face. It's so scary. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I really wish it was like a really scary face, but I guess it can't be because... Too scary wouldn't be fun. Well, it's like another Pokemon. <laughs> Decided not to switch. Gonna just, just gonna try Pyro Ball one more time. As long as we keep getting scary faced, it should be fine. I hope. Stop avoiding my attacks. I'm just- maybe the hail will just take it out. I'll try a double kick. It's fine. Ah, that's usually done- Oh, that's doing absolutely nothing. Maybe this battle for me isn't going as well as I thought it would. If you hadn't just avoided my attacks- Again, the hail. So beneficial for me and him. <laughs> hail is one of those weather- Zippa. See, every time I bring him out, he dies. And that's my- this was my bad. I knew that this would happen. But... Um... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put in Kagura while I attempt to re... bring Kyo back to life. Because if I can revive Kyo and Pyro Ball doesn't get avoided, it should be okay. Because I don't think I have anything good against this except that... But the hail is doing quite nicely. Let's try some Ice Fang. At least so that I get a move in before Kyo just comes in and dies again. Which would not be beneficial. Ha ha ha. And the hell? Let's do it again. Scary face. It is. It is coming up on spooky season. So the scary face is good. But wah ha 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 ha. The hell. If it really wasn't for the, f the for the hell, I would have had much more de like that would have been way worse. And we defeated Hop again. I still can't believe I can't even beat you, my true rival. But I think I'm starting to see the light. Are you seeing the light? Thanks. You two gave a right proper battle. At the rate you both are going, even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble. So what's next, you two? I plan to look into things at the slumbering wield. I'm gonna keep challenging that gym. Then once I get that badge, I'll be heading for Route 9 to take on Spike Muff. 
Next. Wow, I don't know how to pronounce anything in this game. It's awesome. <laughs> Seems like he finally shook off that gloom. Leon worried if Hop wasn't feeling all right. As his rival, you wouldn't like it either, right? See ya. Guilt trip much? Guilt trip. Ugh, it's just so beautiful here. We've got our, our warm weather clothes and... Ish. I like the hat. I think it might be too much, but I think it's cute. And we've got boots and look at all this pretty snow. Like even there are even snowmen. I wish I could go play with it. It's fine. It's fine. But we're off to Route 9. So I have been given a little bit of instruction what to do here, and my as of right now, I've been told to avoid all the trainers because we're going to come back and do them a little later. But for now, I have to go save Senor Dr. Bikeman. There's no way we're letting you anywhere near Spike Mouth. And that means we can't let you go to Route 9. It's Team Yell's duty to cheer on these lovely Dreadnought. And we also get to stop people from heading out over the water. Yes, I understand. All I'm saying is that I can make it so that Rotom bikes can ride over on water. Why, we meet again, my young gym challenger friend. Remember me? I gave you that bike. So, do you think you could do me another favor and teach these ruffians a lesson or two? Just realized I forgot to heal. Yay. It's our duty to protect Dredna. And that means we're going to need to get you to give up on the challenge. You look like you're needing us some convincing. So, how about a Pokemon battle? Yes? I'll send you packing for the sake of Dredna, of course. Challenge by Grunt. They're all Grunt. And they always have Lanoon. So predictable. Let's do... Which one's more powerful? Hmm. This is 100% accuracy. We'll do Ice Fang. Something strong. Night Slash. I don't like it. I don't like when they think they're all powerful. Yes. Hell again, coming to my rescue! I love this so much. Like, look at the beach chairs on the frozen lake. I think it's hilarious. And they've got umbrellas and. <laughs> and, like, we're battling on the water. I love that so much. Route 9 is just so awesome. There's a lot of, you know, with Route 8 and the other route that I forget the name, like, I forget what number route it is, but, like, with all the, um, the sand and stuff. Like, I like that ice is different. It's snowy, it's cold. Got different Pokemon. Wow, he looks so cool. Bullet punch. Eh. But still, like, wouldn't you? I've never, like, lain, laid out in a beach chair in the snow, and I think that would be cool. Good. <laughs> He's throwing bullet punches, I'm throwing ice cubes. I mean, <laughs> it's just hilarious. Thank you so much, Hale. I appreciate you, as long as you're not killing me. I want to go back to Spike Mouth. I really do. Poor Grunt. Ah, she's gonna ride the Dredna. Oi, I've got an idea. We can get on Dredna first and ride it away. Alright, get a move on, Dredna. See you later, Gym Challenger. I would not want to get on a Dredna in that cold water because that seems a little frostbitey. Seems you've come to my aid yet again. How's the cycling life been treating you? Are you having fun? Wouldn't it be great if you could ride your Rotom bike on the water too? That's why I'm going to add these special parts allowing it to travel along the water's surface, just for you. We got a Rotom bike with the ability to travel on water, which means we have so many more places to go! 
All right, all right. With the Rotom Bike Water Mode, you'll cruise over the water like a Pokemon with sw Swift Swim. By the way, when you're riding on land, we call it Land Mode. So now we've got Water Mode and Land Mode. Oop, wrong button. Look at this Water Mode! But now that we have Water Mode, there are more... That's not what I wanted to do either. <laughs> There are places we can go! Starting with... We're gonna go back to the professor's house. Because there's an item I need. In the lake. By the professor's house. Also, I think I forgot to do this last time we were here. I think I forgot to go back here. I did! I did forget to go back here. Excellent! <laughs> and it's just a TM payback. But... I remember editing this... <laughs> When we first were at the professor house the first time, I remember editing this and going, Wait a second. There's definitely something I missed here that's important. Can I get to the water from over here? Or just the garden? Okay, just the garden. No. What? I missed this too? Wow, I really wasn't doing... What? There's something back there as well? <gasps> wow, I'm so bad. This is horrible. <laughs> I should have been looking for more items. I just really gave it the mindset that, ah, Mike will get to it. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, I have to find a spot where I can actually get into the water. I was dumb. I missed it. <laughs> okay. But like, look at this little teeny tiny island with a dreadnought. Not that we didn't just see a dreadnought, but I need this item. PP Max. I'm gonna end up giving it to Kyo to boost Pyro Ball. Oh wait. Now I want to go one more place. And that place would be up here. Hmm. Or is it up here? Or is it down here? Nope, it's up here. <laughs> I clearly don't know this that well. I would like to fly, thank you very much. It's been so long. He's so not. I really was hoping for other wet, other weather. Cause I still want to play with the Lucario, but you need like stormy, like like a snowstorm or a hailstorm or something, something with a storm. And we're on the water now. Look at that! You can get better water Pokemon now. Ah! I like to jump out of the water. It makes me so happy. So over here is really, really cool because you can find one rare evolution based off the weather, I think. I think it's the weather, not like the, but it's so cool. Look. Oh my goodness. Hello. I don't want to get into a battle with you, but we also can collect evolution stones. Which I think is really great to know, especially if you're trying to evolve Pokemon that need a specific stone and you haven't found it yet. Got a water stone. But, you know, Thunderstone. I'm just gonna go around and finish collecting all of these just to show you that they're pretty much all here. Did I get the one from here? I didn't. Shiny stone. And that's all the stones. But they reset, I think, like every day or something. Let's collect the what's. Ah, There's more Pokeballs! Just gonna grab this really quickly. And we're gonna look out over the water. Oh yeah, look at us, new area. All cause of the water bike. And I think we're gonna leave it off this time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. And if my Pokemon are a couple levels um, above what you saw today, it's because I did a little bit of grinding, a little bit of training in the wild area, just to, you know, level up my Pokemon and make them a little stronger so that I can keep on winning against Mike in future battles. Thanks for watching. See you next time.